Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. bye. All right, guys. Welcome to another video. I'm here at KL Central, Kuala Lumpur Central Station, basically. But I'm a bit late. I need to catch a train to Ipo. So let's go. I have no idea how this works. I booked my ticket already, so I should have some time. But uh, my train is in like 15 minutes, so let's see. I think this is the entrance. Let's figure it out on the way. Oh, it's already good. There's no security check because I was a bit worried. Uh, so I need ETS train. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I think I need to ask someone. But where should I ask? I think KTM commuter might be my train as well. It's like there was like a double name. There was like a name ETS and there was a train KTM. So I'm not really sure. Hmm. I think I will ask someone here. Hello, sir. Um, I need to catch the train uh, ETS to Ipo. Yeah, go over there. Uh, which way? This way? Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, over there he said, but I don't know which track I need. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit stressed. It's my first time here in the station, so I have no idea how, how to find the train, basically. Uh, over there he said, but where is that? Oh, there's a security check, or what is this? Um, hmm. Let me ask here. <laughs> Let me see. Hi. Hi. Um, I need to catch this train, but I really have no idea how to go there. Um, the, op uh, the gate is not open yet. Oh, it's the not open yet. Uh, you have to wait here first. Oh, okay, and then uh, they will give the info uh, to which track it is and everything. It, yeah. huh? It's to Ipo. Ipo. Huh? Kuala Lumpur. To, yeah, Kuala Lumpur to Ipo. This is KL Central Station, not Kuala Lumpur. This is oh, really? Station. Yeah. But you can add another ticket from the car ticket. Do you see the red light there? Uh, there, yes. Uh, there will be a blue and yellow counter. Uh, okay. Tell them you want to add another ticket from here. Oh, it's one, one station earlier. Uh, oh, this is another station. It's a different station or what? Yeah, next station. Actually. Oh really? Uh, Can you, I uh, purchase another ticket additional oh. from here? Oh, to additional. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So okay thank you. LED, red light color over there, you go yeah. straight inside. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh damn. Fuck, I'm screwed. I, I am at the wrong station. <laughs> really? So there's a station KL Central and Kuala Lumpur is a different station, really? But I can buy an additional ticket, that's lucky. Um, I still have a little bit of time uh, Damn, so one tip already come early come early if you need to catch a train because if you have these mistakes like I have uh, It's a bit yeah a mess. It's a bit chaos uh, But the gate is not open. That's a good thing. So I'm not really super late. I guess so somewhere here I should be able to buy an extra ticket Taxi no, that's not, not here. I guess maybe here. Yeah counter ticket counter Okay Yes, Hello, good morning. Yeah, so I have an issue. I, I'm at the wrong station yeah, and they told... To add, yeah, additional, additional tickets. Additional yeah. Ticket. Okay. <laughs> Just wait for a number behind. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so I need to have a number. Oh, damn, there's so many people here. Look here. So my number is 2033 and they're at 30... What the hell? This doesn't make sense. Okay, I'll wait for a bit. I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, that's my number actually. Oh, that was fast. Hi, good morning. Uh, yeah, so I booked the wrong ticket actually. I booked from Kuala Lumpur and I need to go to Ipo. Yeah, you need to ten ringgit. Ten ringgit, okay, okay, that's okay. Ten ringgit. Uh, how many times to the Vietnam? It happens often to people that they book the wrong uh, ticket. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not the only one then. <laughs> yeah, it feels. Yeah, there's no information on the ticket like where the actual station is. So <laughs> this one. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. The train is on time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank no, you. Thirty-two. Oh yeah, thirty-two. Yeah, of course. It's earlier here. Uh, my train was at thirty-eight, but I'm a station earlier, so <laughs> it's thirty-two here. What time is it? Oh, it's twenty-three. Actually, I'm, I'm I'm okay. It's okay. I'm not too worried anymore now. I got everything figured out. Yeah, sometimes I stress a bit for nothing, especially if it's like a new place. That's how it is when you travel, you know? You're a bit stressed and you don't know how it is. And imagine this is a, like a really big station. There's a security check. Uh, you need to go through whatever gates or whatever. You will lose a lot of time. But here you basically, you walk in there and the gate is already there. So yeah, you don't lose much time here, which, uh, which is good, which is good. And also you're allowed to film here, apparently. I didn't get told off. Um, because in some stations it's not allowed to. But here it's all good, so I have two tickets now. One from KL Central to Kuala Lumpur and then one from Kuala Lumpur to um, Ipoh. It's about a two hour, two hour and a half ride. Let's see if it's open already. Departure at 11.32, yeah, that's my train. Yeah, thank you. Uh, where is it? Do you know? Yeah. Okay, no answer. Oh, yeah, I see a sign there 1132. Oh, that's good. They have the sign with the number and everything, the train number, and the hour is there as well. Oh, I guess I need to just pass here. Scan it. That was easy. Oh, yeah, it, it went all very smooth. Uh, in some countries it's very tricky to take the train, but here it's super easy, honestly. And there are no long queues, I guess it's not too busy today, uh, which makes it extra easy. <sighs> I can breathe again. <sighs> I'm exaggerating, but I'm a bit stressed. Okay, now I need to figure out the platform, because there's one, two platforms. I guess I'll just ask it. KL Central, Ipo. Oh yeah, okay, oh, super easy, they have a sign here. I guess it's this one, 11.32, yeah. Ah, uh, hello, sir. This is the train already? Yeah. So, you have, you which only go to Kuala Lumpur or have what, Yeah, I have another ticket also. Okay, yeah. okay, all right, all right. So, yeah, same coach and same... Oh, same wait, same I number. need to confirm, I need to confirm. If I different, you just see all your... Uh, it's all yeah, the same, same, the same. Okay, A. A3D. A3D. Okay, that's one there. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I chose uh, seats 3D because it's easy to remember, you know? 3D, so A is the first coach. I think that's where the business is, the business class is as well. I should be somewhere in the back. Let's see. A, 3D, where is it? 12D, 11D, oh, it should be in the back. I think I'm pretty much all the way in the back of the train. Yeah, 3D, window seat. Well, there is no really window, damn, I didn't know that. screwed because I thought I had a window seat but look there's only a window here so I need to need to like uh, to see the window oh I should have I should know that for next time that I have a proper window seat oh and I have a table a little table here so I can do some work it's pretty solid put some stuff here a lot of leg space and also support for the feet oh it's good it's good it's good and it's now 11 27 so I'm well on time I don't know why I was stressing right, there was no reason to but now uh, I can relax oh and I have a little hook here wait I'll use this one yeah yeah okay that's uh, Johnny Sins for a minute but let's just Use this hook. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so I might have a neighbor later, so I need to figure out if I can fit my bag up there. than an airplane even. <sighs> All good. Yeah, so this is the 
station I was supposed to be Kuala Lumpur and not KL Central. I think it's the historical one, the old one. You can see the historical building here. So this is Kuala Lumpur and KL Central is there. So I guess it's like the old and the new station, but it's only like a five minute ride away, really. I think the doors are closing now. Oh, and I still don't have a neighbor, which is great. <laughs> a lot of space. Yeah, and basically um, I bought the call ticket because that was the, o the only one left because I was a bit late with my booking. I only booked last night, but you can also book the platinum ticket, which is a bit uh, faster, the train. It's a bit more expensive, but the train is faster. It makes less stops or something. Um, at least that's what I read, so I have no idea. This is my first time ever taking a train in Malaysia. So, yeah, but I have the gold ticket. And you can also get business class. I might do that on the way back, actually. Doors are opening. Mind your step. Mommy, jump at Is this the bathroom? Yeah. Waiting also? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so there is actually a bathroom on the train, but uh, there's a long queue. So I'll probably just come back later. These are the views we have. Lots of nature, lots of greenery, like pretty much the whole ride already. It's beautiful, honestly. show you I think it's a Hindu temple look at this what beautiful golden temple with like an older structure next to it and another structure behind it that looks really beautiful maybe I'll try to get a closer look uh, before I uh, go to my hotel because I'm actually a bit early uh, my hotel check-in is only at 3 o'clock and it's now 2 15 so that was loud I'm a bit early and also I don't know how to get around here like how to go to my hotel you can see it's a bit of a historic station here as well. Looks beautiful, honestly. Wow, and so many people got off here. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty big city. The city here is like 800,000 people, so it's not like a small city or something. So I guess it's pretty busy here as well. And look here, below are the items that are prohibited on board. Bed, electric cigarettes, fire, and durian and mangosteen are not allowed. I think that's slightly exaggerated because it's not that strong the smell. I tried it in the meanwhile and it was not as bad as uh, everybody says. So I don't really get it, but yeah, they don't allow it on trains apparently, the durian and the mangosteen as well. I didn't try mangosteen yet. That should be the next one that I have to try. Let's see what we can find here. Majestic walk. What is that? I want to see the temple from close up actually. Can I get there? How to get there? What are they selling here? All kinds of snacks. Feels quite nice to be out of the train because the train was ice cold. The AC was way too high and now I have a, like a, a good temperature. Not too hot, not too cold. And we have the Ippo sign right in front of us with a mosque in the background. 
and this is how the Ipo train station looks from the outside. It's quite beautiful actually. Well, the backside is a bit more modern, but this side here is like pretty uh, authentic, I would say. I love the design of it. It's very beautiful. But uh, I need to figure out. Um, I need to figure out a taxi or something to go to my hotel. Uh, maybe they have Grab here. I don't even know, or meter taxis or something like that. That's the only thing missing here in, in Malaysia, I would say, like the tuk-tuks and stuff. That would be very handy. But it would make the traffic very messy, of course, as well. So I guess that's why they ban it or something, or they just don't have it. Need to figure out a taxi. Let's see. Oh, they have a grab sign there, so I guess I can book a grab. That's what I probably will do. Let's go for a walk first here around the Ipo sign. I have my tourist picture. Uh, you're graduated? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. When? Just now? Recently? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow you're graduating? Yes. Oh, congratulations. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what are you studying? Uh, logistics. Logistics? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, I guess this is like a fountain or something? But there's no water now? So I can go, go a bit closer to the Ipo sign. Oh, he's doing maintenance on it. Ipo. Ipo, wow. Well, we will see if it's wow. But uh, I have high hopes. Because I saw the nature around here and everything. And the architecture looks very, very beautiful. So, okay. Let's figure out a ride now. Sorry, uh, do you have meter taxis here or how do you use Grab mostly or? Uh, mostly we, we use Grab. Grab? Yes. Okay, I'll use Grab then. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, yeah, I'll figure it out with Grab. So I decided to walk to my hotel. It's only 15 minutes. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I can do some exploring. It's pretty hot though. Like when you came out of the AC, like after being three hours in a cold, cold, cold train, my body temperature was pretty low. But now that I'm out for like about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm starting to become uh, really hot and sweaty. So yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. Like 15 minutes walking. And in the meanwhile, uh, yeah, see what Ipo is all about, basically. That's kind of the, the idea. There's like a memorial here. The Dutch Railway in memory of thousands of allied prisoners of war and Asian laborers. Oh yeah, it's a war memorial. Yeah, it's, um, it's, there are some beautiful buildings around here, I noticed. Like this one, for example, as well. I don't know what this building is, but it looks gorgeous. The one Mandaran Ipo, 1914. Okay, but I have to go that way. As I'm crossing the Kinta River, I spotted a nice bird there and also some fishermen down there. It's like a whole mix. <laughs> wow. So maybe we can do maybe maybe we can go for a little dip later in the river. I'm not sure. Or uh, do some rafting or something around here. I don't know. Let's see what we can do because I don't really know uh, all the stuff that you can do in Ipo. It's kind of a, a in-between stuff for me to go to Penang. So I thought like, okay, I'll just break the trip down into two parts. First, like two hours and a half on the train and then another two hours or something on the train. So it's like a little break between. I'm only staying here for two days and then I move on to Penang probably. I didn't book my next uh, destination yet, but that's kind of the idea. Unless I find some other interesting stuff to do here, I stay a bit longer, but that's how I usually travel, you know? I don't really plan much ahead. I just uh, go with the flow, basically. We have a beautiful gate here. Welcome delegates to IMT GT 2023. Dorlat Tuanku. Not sure what that means. This building right here is called the Brewster Village and it's used for weddings and events, but it used to be the fire brigade uh, department. Uh, because there has been a huge fire apparently here in Ipo and after that they they built this uh, fire brigade to protect themselves for uh, more from more fires and uh, also I saw this kind of um, cute restaurant here it says Muslim friendly 
Now, uh, yeah, I'm not Muslim, but I like friendly places. So I think I will just go for some lunch here uh, before I check into my hotel. So uh, let's see what they have here. I have really no idea. I just passed by this place. Chef Uni at Brewster, that's the name. Looks kind of cool. So let's see what they have. Hi. Um, do you have something for lunch here? Uh, yeah, yeah, one person, yeah. What is your specialty here? Uh, we have Chinese food. Chinese food? Yeah, Can Chinese I see? Food. Can I see? Or what is your specialty? Like, uh, um, we have uh, Koi Chao. Eh? Oh, Ipo fried Koi Chao. Oh, they're closed already. Oh, they're closed? Yeah, Kitchen two, is closed? Yeah, two. Oh, huh? you cannot do like something, something small? Okay. Oh, nice, okay. nice, nice. Can, can. Okay, okay. Ipo fried, what is Koi Chao? Koi is a flat rice noodle. Flat rice, okay, I'll have that one. Okay. Ipo fried Koi Chao. And okay. um, for drinking, what do you have? What do you have? What do you want? Uh, do you have 100 plus? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. One fried Koi Chao. Yeah, and 100 plus. I'll sit somewhere there, okay? All right. Okay. You want, you want, you want ice cube? Uh, no, it's okay. Just like that, it's okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, luck luckily, because I'm a bit late actually for lunch, it's almost 3 o'clock and they're kitchen closes at 2 o'clock, they say. But uh, I'm just on time, just on time. I'll just uh, take a seat somewhere here and wait for my um, Ippo fried chicken kuitao, I think was the name. Something local. It's, it has Ippo in the name, so it has to be local. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Put my backpack here. Basically my friend here. I'm not eating alone at least. <laughs> I have my backpack. Yeah, I think I'm the only customer. Just before I arrived, there were a few people, but they left, so now I'm all alone here. Oh, and they put the fan on me. All the fans are on me. <laughs> Look, one, two, three fans on me. Oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they see the camera, they get a bit nervous, so I need to not point it too much at them. But uh, I'm quite excited for that meal because it's Chinese food uh, and it's Muslim friendly, so that's good. Start off with my 100 plus. I kind of discovered that uh, it's very popular here in uh, Malaysia, and I use uh, I sweat a lot, so I need to hydrate a lot as well. And this is like the perfect drink for that. So that's pr pretty much my uh, go-to drink here, the 100 plus. Not sure what the name is. I I mean where the name comes from. 100 plus. Probably there's like 100 ingredients in it or something. I don't know. So actually on Wikipedia I found uh, why the name is 100. It's, it's because um, it commemorates 100 years of Fraser's and Neve in Asia. So it's not, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the ingredients. It's just a, a company that has um, existed for over 100 years. So they call it 100 plus. Okay. Thank you. So we have the Ippo fried chicken kutiao. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Ten ringgit fifty cents. Ten ringgit. Should I pay now? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll pay. Closing now. Ah, you're closing. Yeah. The whole rest. Oh, you open yeah. again in the night? No, we open until two forty-five. Oh, really? Yeah. Two forty-five. Special for you. Oh, I just came on time. Yeah. No, I just came too late. <laughs> uh, how much is it? Ten fifty. Ten fifty. Oh, uh, fifteen. You have a ring in there, right? No. It's okay. It's okay. You can keep the change. Huh? No, no, you can keep the change. It's okay. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for keeping you're the restaurant very, open. You're very kind. Yeah, but you are also because so you keep the where? restaurant open. You're from where? Uh, from Belgium. Belgium. Wow, yeah. so yeah, great. Yeah. Very good have... in football, very good in hockey. And chocolate. And chocolate. And beer. And beer and French fries. <laughs> French fries. Oh, oh, I'm happy that you know that the French fries are from Belgium and not from France. Yeah, true, Because true, a lot true. of people think it's from they say, France. They, they thought it's French fries. Yeah, Belgian fries. Belgian, Belgian fries. fries. Yeah. yeah. So, so what are the ingredients here? Okay, this I'll is. I'll just uh, have a look. It's a flat rice noodle. Yeah. And uh, normally very famous in Nepal. So we have some prawns also? Yeah, we have some shrimps. Oh, shrimps, 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 yeah. Shrimps, yeah. Chicken, Shrim, chicken. And then we some have some uh, fried fish garlic. Fish. Yeah, that's all. Fried yeah, garlic. Fried, fried shallots. Oh, oh fried, yeah, fried shallots. shallots. And then oh. the white color is a bean sprout. Oh, here are the bean sprouts. And the bean sprouts, yes. Oh, nice. And I then like this that. A, the green color is chips. Chips, chips. Yeah. Chips. Okay, I'll, and then I'll, I'll give it a try. With the soy sauce and some chili paste, it's all. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells you, really good. you should try it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try right now. Okay. I'll try right now. Wait, okay. wait, wait. I need to get and this on video. Away, you review the thing. Yeah, I need to review. Yeah. I'm not. I'm bad at reviewing okay. food, but let me try. Yeah. First, some noodles. Is it pretty good? Oh yeah. Pretty good. Mm. 
What's your name? My name? Yeah. Tim. James. Tim. Team. Tim. T I M. All right. Nice yeah. meeting you. Oh, it's nice. It's so, nice. So, uh, come like from it. Malaysia for what? Ah, uh, traveling. Traveling. Yeah. Holiday yeah. tourist. Alone. Alone, yeah. Oh, a lot. I have some friends also, but they're in Penang now. Okay. Great. I'm heading to Penang next. Great. Nice place, Penang. Yeah. So you're from where? Uh, from from KL? I just came from KL, yeah. Okay, you didn't go to Cameron Island? Uh, not yet. Is okay. it good? It's a good place. Cameron Island? Uh, uh, Highlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe one or two days. Mm. And then stay there for one or two days. Oh. Maybe go Penang first and then come back and then... Is it easy to go to Cameron Islands? Highlands from here? Yeah, easy. How far you is can, it? You can take bus. Oh. You can take bus. Oh. You go to the Amanjaya terminal and then take the Cameron Island bus. It oh. takes like one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Oh, maybe I should go there first? Yeah. Oh, how many days should I go, go there? A uh, couple nights. Just two, two nights or something? Oh. Enough, enough. I'm staying two nights here. Is that enough for yeah. Ipoh? Two nights, enough already. For Ipoh? Ipoh enough. Yeah, what should I... What's the best thing to visit uh, here? You should go to the old town. The old that's town. That's a concubine lane. And then at night, we have a night market over here. Yeah, that's somewhere here, yeah. Yeah, and then another one, night market, the big one. The big one, Ipo night market. Oh, yeah. And that's, uh, you can go to the temple. Yeah, yeah, I saw some uh, Hindu, the lake, there are Buddha, Buddhist temples. Gunung temple. Lang, mm. a lot of, a lot of oh, limestone nice, nice. temples. And what about the night markets? Uh, they sell, it's like food market or uh, everything? Everything, everything. Clothing, like everything. Here, like here. We have clothing, everything. Oh, where is it? In this building like a, here. You just you can just go straight. Yeah. And like two hundred, uh, three hundred meters. Yeah. You just turn to uh, right. Oh, okay, I'll find it. On, what's yeah. the name? Uh, Gerbang Malam. Gerbang Malam. Okay, I'll find it on Google. Okay. And the other one is. Uh, Ipoh Night Market. That's the bigger one. The big one. Okay. They I'll, want a I'll lot of there. food. They're selling a lot of food. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's yeah. what's the best food to try there? Uh, it depends on. I mean, I know this is the best food, you but have satay the there. second best food. You have satay, the <laughs> satay. beef chicken skewer. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we have like tom yum. Oh, tom yum. Yeah. Thai, that's Thai food, right? It's a Thai food, but uh, yeah. it they have everything there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that uh, we have like a uh, nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Yeah, I tried uh, it in uh, uh, KL already, but okay, I, I might try it again. Yeah. Is it different here, uh, the nasi lemak, or similar? It's similar. The same, maybe. The the level of spiciness. Yeah. More spicy here? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think yeah, more spicy. Oh, you maybe. should try. You can tomorrow morning. You can come and try the, the nasi lemak here. Here. I one of the best in Ipoh. Really? Yeah, you should. Oh, yeah. I, I I came in because I saw that it says like Muslim friendly. I'm I mean yeah. I'm not a Muslim, but I like friendly. Are you Muslim? No, 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 no. Are you not Muslim? I'm not Muslim, but I like friendly places. Okay. All so right. this okay. seemed like a friendly place, you know? Because my wife Chinese. Oh, uh, and you yeah, are? Yeah, I'm Malay. I'm uh, Malay mixed, and Chinese. Mixed Malay Chinese. Oh, my yeah. wife Chinese. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, that's why we promote Chinese food yes, to yes, the yes. Malay community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's your name? Ushaini. Ushaini. The, the name they call it Chef Uni. Ah, Chef Uni. That's yeah, yeah. short for Ushaini. Yeah. Oh, and Brewster. What? What is the? The Brewster. That's this building, time. right? No, no. Oh. This is the the road. We call it Brewster Road. Oh, this is Brewster during Road. During colonial time. Oh. So now they changed to Sultan Idris Shah. Oh, but there was like a, a big fire here. I, I read yeah, this was the fire this department. Is the, this is the fire department. Yeah. Still now, still now. No. No, no more. Before, already. before. This is a heritage building. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And and now. Uh, and this this call this call Brewster Village. Brewster Village. Oh, uh, okay. So this whole road is kind of Brewster Village yes, around here. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, Allah, we don't have uh, beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my first know. idea because we have beer in Belgium and bre <laughs> breweries, but I yeah. saw Brewster, I was like, oh, uh, oh. Okay. my beer alert was on, but... Uh, uh, you went <laughs> to the concubine lane? No, I just came from the railway station. Oh, that's all. you should go back. Yeah. Go back. Where do you stay? Great house? Uh, somewhere here, the Eastern or something. Oh, the Eastern. Okay, you very near the, the yeah. yellow color building. Oh, there that's on the, the left one, side, yeah. left side. That's the one, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I did it. Ah, put it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there. I see on the yeah. corner. On the corner. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this yeah. Corner. Yeah, I, I, I didn't check in yet. All I right. just arrived. I, I will have you some lunch first. Here, after the bridge. Yeah. After the bridge, put it up a bit, and then turn left. Yeah. Like 200 meters. That's the lane. Concubine lane. Yeah. A lot of things happening there. Oh, that's yeah. the place to be. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain. Uh, that's Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Every is. evening. <laughs> yeah? Every Afternoon, week. evening. Yeah. I don't know. This is <laughs> now they're getting weird. It's weird, yeah. yeah. The whole, it's everywhere in the world. Like, uh, the climate is changing. Like, uh, the whole year, the whole year like this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you guys have four oh, seasons, right? We have four seasons, but a lot of rain yeah. all year round. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you very I'm much. Leaving. Thank you for the information right. also. <laughs> okay. So enjoy. I stay here. Thank you. So you thank you. Come back tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe I will in the morning right. for the for the breakfast. Yeah. Nasi lemak. Thank yeah. you. See you. Okay. Let's uh, continue reviewing this food. So I didn't try the chicken yet. I try. I tried some shrimp, but this is the chicken. Oh, very soft. I like it with the the onions. They kind of caramelize the onions. A little spicy. Mmm, wow. I think they have some tofu in it as well. Some tofu. Proper good food. Oh, a little bit spicy, but kind of perfect. Mm. Mm. What a what a warm welcome I have here. They're about to close the restaurant. They decided to give me a meal anyway. They were closing at 2.45, I arrived at 2.45 I think, or 2.44 maybe, so <laughs> I was like just on time or just too late basically. But uh, I'll enjoy this meal and my 100 plus and then I will go and check in uh, in the hotel. See you guys later. Okay, thank you very much, thank you, thank you for staying open longer, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. I was my meal was finished already. I was just sitting around, but she came up to me and she said, "Like yeah, normally we close 2:45, and she, because she wants to close the gate, <laughs> I didn't realize." So, but very nice people here. They opened longer for me. It's like 2:15 now, so they opened like half hour longer, especially for me. I was li literally the only customer there. Okay, but um, yeah, now I need to figure out my hotel, which should be somewhere there. The yellow building, he said. I think it might be that one there. Okay, so we made it to the Eastern Hotel. The lobby is on the right side. Let's see, let's see. This hotel was uh, very high rated, so it should be a good one. Let's see, welcome. I like the sign of the, <laughs> of the toilet there. The guy looking over to the females, I guess. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I would like to check in. I have a booking from uh, booking.com. Yes, sir, your name. Uh, you can Tim. Ah, oh, this side? Okay, okay. I came in by the back entrance. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Tim, right? Stay yeah, for yeah. two nights. Two nights, yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. So, can I get your passport, please? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, that was the check-in. Ah, oh, the elevator is here. Or do they call it lift here? I guess they do. Have my room key here. Room 305. No breakfast, but there's lots of breakfast options av available around here, she said. Uh, third floor. <coughs> the elevator is a bit old school. It's like with the proper buttons. Um, and uh, the room is about 25 euro, which is like 27 dollar or something per night. Let's see what we get for that price here in Ipoh. The, the pictures look promising, but yeah, you know, pictures are not always trustworthy. So let's see, we made it to the third floor. Okay, 305. Ooh, it's a bit Art Deco. Let's see, wow. Okay, yeah, it's a bit old school, I would say, but where's 305? That's 304, 305, 302. No, no, it's that way. She told me uh, she'd give me the quiet room because there's a room facing the main street and there's a room facing the car park. <coughs> 306, 30, oh, 305. Here we go. Oh, it works. Let's see, where is the light? Oh, yeah, wait. AC, light, light. Okay. We made it to the room and uh, it looks quite nice actually and very spacious as well. So um, let's do a quick room tour while we're here. What does this say? I have no idea what does it mean. It's like a note. Ketika berlaku kebakaran. No idea what it means, but um, I might Google Translate that later. Uh, we have some coffee. Wow, that's nice. A kettle which was missing in my previous hotel, even though they mentioned they had it. What do we have here? Nothing. 
nothing okay a nice seating area with oh soft seats actually oh that's nice a desk which is perfect for some work because actually i need to do some editing i did some editing on the train already but i need to do a bit more um and the bed here which is kind of low the bed the bed seems a bit low <laughs> but it's okay it seems good all, 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 everything seems good <coughs> the ac wait i'll turn that on where's the ac on it's there on okay let's see the view I have a TV as well, which I never use. And here is the view. Well, yeah, the view is not spectacular, I would say, but I don't really mind because I'm not staying here long. Uh, but you can see there, in the background, you have beautiful mountains. Uh, and that's what that guy told me at uh, the hotel, uh, at, a, at a restaurant. He told me about Genting Highlands. No, not Genting Highlands. Cameron Highlands. Cameron Highlands, uh, which is nearby. But I checked it on Google Maps and it's not so nearby. It's almost two hours away. But I might go there actually, if, if there's like a direct bus or train or something, I might go there. Uh, I'll look into it and after that go to Penang or first go to Penang and then Genting Highlands. I don't know yet, but it's definitely an option. I hear about it. There's like nice hiking and trails and nature and that's the kind of the stuff that I like actually. So I might go there. Okay, room tour continues. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we have a nice painting even. Not sure if this is like a Malay uh, scene that we see here. They're collecting um, the wheat, I guess, and drying it. Okay, and then we go to the bathroom. And if you want to know if the hotel is proper, you always need to inspect the bathroom. And actually, this one has a very nice bathroom. I would even say that the bathroom is the nicest of this whole room. I mean, the whole room is pretty nice, but it's a bit old fashioned, I would say. But the bathroom, I think they renovated recently. You can see <coughs> the tiles are nice. Um, yeah, everything is pretty new, you can see it. Mostly, like, if, if, if it would be like a, an old hotel, you would see that the lines and everything would be yellow. This is very nice, actually, very clean also. Looks really good. I'm pretty sure there's hot water. Uh, the shower looks a bit low. Wait, let me try that, actually. <laughs> because I think I might not even fit underneath that shower. <coughs> I'm not that tall, but it seems a bit low. Let me try. It might be like, oh no, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, it's okay. It's like perfect, I would say. There's like a little bit, well, there's not much space in between, but it's enough for me. Enough for me and my bald head. Ah, that will be probably the first thing I'm going to do, take a shower. Um, after the journey of about three hours to from KL to Ipo. But uh, yeah, guys, so um, this was it for the train video from KL to Ipo. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just like a travel with me day. Uh, but in the next videos, I will explore Ipo, uh, try some food, go to the food markets, go to the other markets, uh, maybe go to the old town, all that stuff. Uh, so that's coming in the next videos. So stay tuned for that. And you already know, if you're still watching, you're a legend. Legend.